Okay, so you three are there. Susan's going to be calling in, and uh, Andrew Martin, and... Okay, now I'm here. <laughs> yeah, hi, Susan, and Michael uh, Reese are here. Uh, Michael's from the GMA TV, and um, Andrew's from News and Citizen. This session is no longer being recorded. The recording has started. Okay. All right, so I guess if everybody's ready, uh, we don't have any members of the public there. We do have uh, the newspaper and TV. The candidates are waiting for a phone call, or at least Savannah's waiting for a phone call. Then I'll call the other ones. But um, I told her to I told her to wait until six ten, and then we'd call her at six ten because we want to talk about the open meeting law for a second. Okay. So um, earlier today, News and Citizens sent a inquiry as to what the plan was for tonight. And I said, the vote, the vote has to happen to go into executive session. So that's got to be done first. If you want to do that for the interviews and making a decision, you do have to come out and make a vote on the appointment. So somebody, you know, like a normal executive session, either you make a decision or you don't. If you, if you do get to a decision, that decision is made in open session after you uh, after you come out of executive session. So, I, and I, I, I guess Andrew Martin, who's online, can explain if that, if what the specific question is, if it's if it's all discussion and interviews in executive session, or or what what the specific request was. If you, if you could, Andrew. Yeah, I was just uh, looking over the the agenda, and I was curious as to why the board might need to go into executive session to interview candidates for a select board. I uh, wasn't really sure why that was necessary. I haven't seen that before, and other towns have done this. Yeah, and that's for the interview as well. The decisions are always made in public, so really it's just about the interview, right? right? Yeah, uh, just as an example, there was a, a few years ago, Morristown interviewed, I believe it was six or seven candidates in an open meeting, one right after the other. I was just curious as to why uh, the Hyde Park Board thought it needed to go into executive session to interview candidates and why that might put the town at a disadvantage in some way. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think the, uh, I, I don't yeah, think it's a dis it's not a disadvantage question. It's just whether you go to executive session, I think, is a select board choice. Right, because I, I think looking at it, Ron, looking at if you, um, we have the option of doing everything in executive session. I'm perfectly happy to interview people in public, but then I think when we talk about the people, when we talk about people who are going to executive session, I, I don't what it's about. I just think people, when you're talking about people, pros and cons, whatever, that that is, um, that's entitled to executive session. So, so we can go ahead and it just makes us, we've got to take good notes here, guys, um, you know, to interview the folks. Um, I, I've got sort of, um, so that we, we ask everybody the same questions, and I think it's best to let them we sort of run through the four questions, and then if we have any follow-up questions, instead of interrupting people, because I think mostly with the, with the letters that we have, when you get through the four questions, which I just see is, you know, asking them to introduce themselves and why they're interested and what current or past, you know, boards, local, you know, have they been on that, you know, on regional boards that might give them some experience with this. And if there's any area in town government that they think needs to be a priority or is a real priority for them and what they're interested in. And more importantly, here we got four people. <laughs> if they aren't, if they aren't appointed, would they would they consider would they be interested in some of our other town boards and committees that we have openings in? And then of course give them an opportunity. Is there anything else they want to, you know, they want to add? Um, and then if we have any additional questions, we can ask. And I'd say let's just we'll do the we'll do the four of them. And um, and um, what's there, Ron? I'm, uh, I've I don't want I don't want to talk about Comcast and my relationship with them right now. My cell phone and I are the only thing I have. So I look at everything in tiny print right this minute. Oh, um, yeah. Was, was there 
was there something else on the agenda that came up? Uh, the only thing that we've had as an ongoing is the union negotiations. We're not, I'm not really yeah. ready to talk about that, but yeah, if, right. if anybody yeah. wanted to, you could bring yeah. something up. Yeah, no, okay, right. We've got we've to get that stuff back from you and then set up a date to talk with them. Okay, all right. So we don't we don't have that ready, but I just just in case any board members wanted to add anything for that process, they could talk about it after the interviews and then. But you don't have to. We can keep it all, you know, select board candidate. That be nice and clean. Right. Yeah, I thought that's sort of all we needed to needed to do tonight. Is that um, Roland and does that work for you guys? Sound like a plan? It's all right for me. Yes. Yes. All three okay. of us said yes. Thank you. Oh. Heard okay, a lot so, and clear. All right. You want to get uh, get Savannah? Yep. Andrew, is that okay? Is that a good response yeah, for we'll you? Call up to Andrew. Right, but yeah, no, no, that, that covers it. Thank you. Okay, hold on one second and I'll um this this is gonna be a little test here. We haven't done my <laughs> cell phone to the phone conference because she is in the middle of preparing food for a brush fire in Morristown for the firefighters. So she's uh, double timing her duties right now, she said. <laughs> okay. So she may have us, she may okay. put us on speakerphone to <laughs> keep cooking or something. I don't know, but. All right. Hey, listen, we'll just, all right. We're giving it a try. Hold on a second, please. We're all getting stretched with technology here. Let me, and we, we have the letter from you, but um, I'll sort of, well, and tell you, tell you who's here. I'm, uh, I, I'm never going to get you, not used to us all being in the same room. Um, obviously, we've talked, Savannah. This is Susan Bartlett. The rest of the board, if you'll introduce yourself. Roland Bovine. Roger, I did. Brian Shackett. Okay. And um, Savannah, I've, um, you wanted, and your letter did a good job, but who knows where we've all put that piece of paper, right? <laughs> if, if you want to, and introduce you're in the process of cooking, so if you need to, you know, we understand life. Um, just sort of introduce yourself to us and why you're interested in the in the position. Um, okay, so uh, my name's Savannah, and I um, was actually just reading the paper one day and saw that the ad, or the, the opening, and I thought, I think I could do this. Um, currently, I am on. I'm the president of the Morristown um, Fire Department Auxiliary, um, which keeps me very busy, and I love it. Um, I love being part of the community and helping others. Um, this, so I think that's different than, of course, the select board. The select board is going to be, um, you know, making rules, making decisions, um, working with the town. Whereas this is more of a volunteer. Um, helping kind of thing. Right. Your husband's a um, well, fire I, grew up, I, I went to school in Crassberry. I grew up in um, Wolcott. Um, I've, so I've been around Lamoa County my whole life. I've lived in up on Garfield Road for about four, 15 years. Um, I have two kids, grown. Um, that's, about, <laughs> that's about all for me. Um, I am interested in, I mean, obviously my husband's on the North Sound Fire Department. Um, even though we live in Hyde Park, it's coming down Garfield Road is quicker than getting to the Hyde Park Fire Department. Um, but we're very involved in that. Um, and I just want to be a voice of, you know, if I have concerns or thoughts, um, I want to be able to bring those to the table or help make the decisions. Um, I'm very I'm the type of person that if I have a thought or I see something and I, I want to make it better, then go to the people and, and make it better. Um, you sort of with, you know, with, uh, with past boards and things that you've done, and as you say, you're the, you're the president of the, of the, um, auxiliary and, for um, Morristown right now. Um, have, have you been, ha, just curious, have you been, done other things or other boards either either in the town or regionally? You know, I always think of the regional planning commission. I was on the, the current, 
we on the Craftsbury Board of Trustees, um, and my term ends this year, and so you have to do, you can do a three-year term, and then they have, you have to take a year off. Okay. Go back on, so I've done that for, this is my last, basically, technically in a couple months, I'm done with that. Okay. Um, what, what areas of town government do you think need some attention or are you particularly interested in? Um, well, I know that, and I don't know that this is really, um, I, I'm not sure where it falls, but you know, I like everybody else. What about the roads? What about, um, that's always a big thing that I have concerns about. And it's not necessarily, I just want to get on the select board to, to make the roads better. It's, um, how are we better, you know, what roads make the most sense? I, I'm a very logical person. I know that there's just not a money tree out there that just has money and we can just fix every single road. I get that. Um, so we can, you know, this road's worse. That road can wait another year. Um, and I just want to be help, help make those be part of that thought process. Um, so, so of course the roads are a big thing. Um, and it's only been a couple of years that I've actually been doing the town meetings, just I, I have work and I don't like to miss work. Um, and so the last couple of years I've gone to town meetings and I think that it's, that's again where you can have your voice and um, decisions, but I'm not really sure if I have, you know, the fire department, of course, I think Hyde Park has great potential. I think they do great things, but like everybody else, anything can be probably improved. Um, but I'm not really sure that I have a particular spot. Um, those are really my two thoughts that I've had so far. Sure. Okay. That's, that's, that's great. Um, if, uh, as you know, is, is we're, um, we're delighted to have a number of people interested in the position. That's really, that's terrific. Um, and if, if we don't, if you don't get this appointment, um, would you be interested in any of the other town boards and committees that we have? Because we're always looking for people yes. Yes. who want to be involved. Yes. Yep. All right. Um, is there anything else you want to you want to tell us, or questions you have for us, or and then we'll see I if anybody has. Any um, I know Roland. I know you. Um, my maiden name is Green. I don't know if that rings any bells. My mom's Becky. What's that? What's that again? Um, so I know you, um, my name is, my maiden name is Green, so Becky Green is my mom. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm... Does that make... Yeah, it's... I think just, I have any questions. This... I don't know if you guys have any questions for me, that's... I mean, pretty much Susan's covered everything that I was going to ask, and I was just, you know going to ask the same question about what you thought it could be improved in, you know, our town here. I mean, you pretty much said that. Um, or, you know, being thought of what you were going to talk about and be interested in. Um, you know, I, I myself, you, you, you live in Garfield. Correct. And, okay. Do you, I don't know exactly where you live up there, but it don't make any difference. I live right next to Charlie Davis's farm. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Okay. Just before the crossroad. Yep, okay, I know where that is. You're right, that's definitely um, quicker than I'm the motor sound fire department over, in Hyde Park. <laughs> I'm going to turn it over I to Brian. I almost as far out of Hyde Park and still live in Hyde Park as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Mike... My question is, um, have you held a role in the past uh, as a manager or, you know, for managing people or anything like that? So I am the, I work at um, Cheslov Community Health Services of Lamoille Valley. Um, I am the director of clinical information systems. So I take care of all the electronic um, health records. So I um, have one staff member under me. And I manage the whole entire software for Stowe Family, Morrisville Family, Dental, Neurology, Behavioral, uh, Appleseed. And so I um, 
Yes, I have managed. Um, so I manage one okay. staff right now. I mean, our department's only two, uh, but the, the software is a more than full-time job. Susan uh, covered uh, my other questions as well, and that was the only one that was sticking in my uh, my head. So, uh, Roger? No, you guys have asked the questions that I had in mind. We um I I know when I uh when I talked to Savannah originally, um she just had a question because she knows, you know, in sort of times that that we meet and sometimes we do, you know, special meetings in the morning or you know or or get together, and she was just concerned about having a having a a job working regular hours was that would that be a problem? And I told her it wouldn't. And now we've got Brian with his job. So we just, um, when the board gets together, we just figure out what people's schedules are and we take it and we take it from there. And it, and it may, as we've all found and gotten better through this time period of being able to join people in on the phone and stuff. I think sometimes that might be easier for some meetings when people don't have to literally leave work, but if they can take an hour to go sit in the, sit quietly in their office and join too. I think there may be a lot more flexibility in the future around this sort of things, but, but, but no, we don't hold it against somebody having a full-time job. As a matter of fact, we think that's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> and I can call in. I just, you know, by the time I go to Hyde Park and back, it's that much longer. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And as I say, we just always, we, we work around, we work around other people's schedules. We're all, we're all, we're pretty flexible that way. So I think if you don't if you don't have any more questions for us, we'll uh, we'll talk with other people tonight, and I think we'll probably make a decision tonight, and we'll we'll uh, we'll get to folks tomorrow. Great. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for you. Your Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Have a good evening. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. All right. So that was number one. We've got um, Robin Spitzer up next, and I think. Is she expecting a 6.30 call, Susan? Yeah, right about there, and we're pretty close to 6.30, so. Okay, so just keep chugging along. Yep, uh, chugging along. How was the audio on that? Should I, have, should I call her and ask her to call in? On your end? It was, it, was good, it was good here. All right, so she was not answering her phone, but I told her she could either call into the phone conference or call my cell phone. So we'll see what happens. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. So do we? That was hmm. me, right? Right. <laughs> we go ahead and call Dave, or do we wait a few minutes? Or, oh, uh, definitely. Yeah, we gotta wait because she just she's just saw a voicemail. Hopefully, and she's trying to figure out which one to call. Okay. That's the, that's the other problem with the, the phone conferencing. You don't have a lot of flexibility once you, the ball starts rolling. Yeah. Hello, this is Brian Spitzer. That's Ron Rajensky here. Susan Bartlett, thank you for calling in. Susan Bartlett is conducting the interviews and glad you could join us. Great. So we got to, all right. And um, I'll get the rest of the board to introduce themselves. Roland Mulvey here. Roger on that. Brian Jackson. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. We've been can, you, can you hear me okay? Yep. We can. can you hear okay, us good. Okay? All right. Yeah. We've been, we, we've been talking about the movies we've been watching, and um, it says, I said something about the average age of the select board right now. <laughs> 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 Let me, because um, we, we have your letter, but just sort of asking everybody the same sort of questions, and I'll ask you a few questions, and and um, and then anything else you want to add, and then if we have questions we feel we haven't been covered, we'll ask you questions. How's that? That's great. So I'd have you start, Robin, with just by, um, which you did nicely in your letter, but I say we probably all lost that paper by now. Um, if you'd uh, introduce yourself and why you're interested in, in the position. I've lived in Lamoille County for the past 35, 40 years. I lived in Johnson from 1985 until I moved to Hyde Park in 2004. 
brought my kids up here. They all went to Johnson Elementary and Lamoille Union. Um, married Al Spitzer. Um, now live in Hyde Park. Uh, my family has a lot of history in, I was brought up in Moortown in Washington County. My family has a lot of history in town government. Um, my aunt was town clerk for 35 years. My mom was town clerk. And before that, she was also on the board of uh, the select board and was chairman of the select board for many years. Uh, so I've always had some exposure to it. Um, brought up to believe that if you want to know about something, you get involved. If you have questions or a problem with something, you present it instead of just complaining. Um, I hear a lot of people complaining when I ask them what their solutions would be. They don't have any. They feel they don't have a voice. And I was like, well, I have some time now. Maybe it's time for me to get involved to see what I can contribute to um, the town of Hyde Park. So I work full time um, for McCain Consulting in Waterbury, where it's an engineering and surveying firm. Uh, commute every day. Um, since I grew up in that area, you know, it's kind of old home day for me. Um, but my kids are all grown. We have six kids between us. Um, we have a pretty big, large extended family, and um, yet I still have time that I am interested in expanding and staying current on what's going on in the world and what's going on right in our neighborhood right here. I guess that's about it. Yeah. It's, um, ha how about, and you mentioned a couple of things in your uh, in your letter, but sort of current or past experience on local or regional boards that you've been involved in? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm currently president of the Green Mountain Payroll Association. Uh, this is my second or third time around in that position. Um, I was also on the board of the New England Payroll Association, and I'm currently a member of the Vermont SHRM Association, which is a human resource professional. So I do that in order to stay current in my profession and to help the people who are new to payroll and human resources um, to try to support them in their career because it's ever-changing laws and payroll and labor laws and a lot of human resource issues that come up, especially now with COVID, um, but basically to support the folks that are coming up in their career. Okay. Um. I said, if uh, are there is there a specific area in town government that you that you're interested in that you want to see improved um, that you'd sort of see as a as a real interest for yourself getting involved in? Well, I'm a finance person. I'm really interested in the budgeting process. I'm interested in. Um, and, just learning more about how you pull things together, how the town runs and accountability for, you know, like I said, people just complain and they don't try to find out the answers to any questions they have. Um, so I'm interested in, in the finance piece of it. I think my skill set would lean towards maybe offering some, uh, support, if you would, in, in human resource areas within the town. Um, it sounds like you've had a few issues in the last few years um, that could have used maybe a little bit of support in that area. Um, not so much interested in any one particular area as I am in trying to understand how town runs now as opposed to maybe what it was 30 years ago. Yeah. Well, in the the world that town government is definitely has changed dramatically in the last ten years, anyway, and it really continues to change dramatically. Um, and and again, we can complain about it, but that's that's that that's what's happening. So we don't want to get exactly. really going about state mandates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
they yeah. sell a lot of those. No, oh, they sure are. They sure are. Um, if um, we're we're delighted, we have we have a number of people that are um, that have inquired and are interested in the position, which is um, which is terrific. It really is. Um, and if we if we if you end up not being appointed to this position. Um, would you would you be interested in considering other town boards or or committees that are available? We're always looking for interested people, and there's always plenty of work to do. Right. In fact, I would be interested. The main reason I've never thrown my hat in the ring and tried to run is I don't know a lot of folks in town. Um, even when Al and I had the store in the village, I still worked and commuted to Montpelier or Essex. So I didn't get to forge those relationships with people in town. And I think I missed that from, like, when I grew up, you know. Um, running for an elected office when you're kind of seen as an outsider, um, I just thought was an obstacle. But I thought if I could work on something and gain some experience and some credibility, possibly, then uh, it might be easier to run for an office in town. Yeah, I, th I think I think that's how lots of lots of folks get involved. Of course, a lot of much younger people, you're you know, with your family grown, a lot of folks, the first place they get involved tends to be school boards, you know, because that that has a direct impact on lots of families very rapidly. Um, but there are again with their all. We're always looking for for uh, interested people to get involved in any of these in in a variety of committees. So, um, does, does any other board member do you have any other questions for for Robin? Um, I'm I'm set. I'm going to turn you to Brian. I guess uh, um, same question I asked before for the other person, um, uh, Robin. How about uh, managing? Do you uh, or have you in the past managed uh, uh, people in the past, been uh, in charge of, uh, of other people? Oh, yes. I'm in my career. Brian, you know, it's been all over the place. But I actually was, um, I was the assistant branch manager of what is now People's United Bank when it was in the price chopper. Uh, so I had four staff at that point that I managed. Um, I'm the office manager where I am now, and Gunner refers to me as the hub of the wheel. Um, I keep everything pulled together and so that everybody else can do their job and uh, make things run smoothly. Supervisory, um, I was uh, in charge of complaints and grievances for Blue Cross Blue Shield Managed Care Medicaid back um, probably 20 years ago. Um, and I had two staff that I managed in that department. Um, I, I've done a lot of different things. I tend to be heavy in the finance and human resource venue. Um, and the reason I never went on the school boards was because I was working for school district. And it was kind of conflict of interest at the time when my kids were in school. Right, um, right. But, yeah, a lot of management. That's all I had, uh, Roger. I guess the only question I have, um, you have the availability of, you know, having the special needs that we have sometimes and, uh, you know, have the time to make special meetings and stuff if we have to have them during the day or nighttime. Or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, my employer is, is very supportive of all of us being active. He supports my um, interest in the payroll association. We have one employee who's uh, a fire chief on a volunteer uh, fire, you know, team on, out in Berlin. And I've already talked to him about it. And I said, you know, just for instance, Connor, this week they're having a meeting on Monday um, about some, uh, apparently it's about some human resource issues. And it was during the day. And he's like, I don't have a problem with that. Um, he's very supportive because as long as I get my work done, he's all good. Yeah. Okay, that's all I have. I'm, Susan's asked the most of them who I was going to ask. But okay. 
that uh, Robert, is there anything else you wanna you wanna add? No, well, I, I just I'm so very interested. Excuse me. Go ahead. Oh, I thought I heard somebody ask something. I, I'm so very interested. Like I said, I I don't have any pre agenda pre. Uh, I don't I don't have any reason for wanting to do this other than I saw the notice in the paper and I thought maybe I could add something or bring something to the group that might offer some support um, in in your endeavors even if it's for a few months. Um, but I don't have any preconceived agenda or anything and I'm just, you know I'm not like going to be out there supporting this or supporting that. I'm just kind of want to learn about what you do and how you do it. Okay. Um, we appreciate that. We um, we're gonna we're gonna talk with everybody tonight, and then we uh, we assume we'll make a decision this evening, and we'll uh, we'll call folks tomorrow. And I uh, we we really right. appreciate your interest. Great. Terrific. I appreciate you taking the time, and you guys. It's a holiday. I can't believe you're meeting tonight. But <laughs> I, <thanks. laughs> I know. I kind of went, duh, Susan. Okay. <laughs> Some people have lives, you know, and some of us don't. <laughs> well, in, in today's world, our life is kind of centered at home. And I, I know it is. A thing. I think that's what is just a little strange, but we're all hanging in there. Thank yeah, you very much, and uh, we'll we'll be in touch with you tomorrow sometime, Robin. Thank you all. Stay safe. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Okay. So I'm I'm going to uh, get Dave to call in. I think that I think it works a little better if they can call in because. Okay. Yep. It's. Seems to be working. Give him the right number. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'll uh won't live that one down. But anyway, I'll uh, get Dave on. I'm going to go quiet for a second. Okay. <laughs> Girl. I I think it's it's fascinating that you know that there are a number of people interested and I'm I'm wondering if it's sort of you know if this whole this whole virus thing has people thinking more about home and local stuff and a and a variety of issues you know a lot of times you man <laughs> we're beating the bushes looking for people that are willing to do things and now we've got folks that are that are definitely interested and willing to go on other boards. And I just, I think that's, that's terrific. That makes me, I feel really good about that. Did you say there was four people on interested in the board here now? Uh, yep. Cause we know we've got this one. We've got, we've got Dave and Jeff, Jeff Holmes as well. What's the name again? Jeff Holmes. Oh, Jeff Holmes. Yeah. So he's he's right now filling in on the on the um, oh for heaven's sakes <laughs> you know the appraisal stuff he's been coming in and getting and getting trained on that since we're short staffed yep. on that. Okay, Dave's gonna call in uh, in ten seconds here. Okay. <coughs> Hello, David. Hi, Ron. Okay, Susan, you're here. Yeah. Dave's here. I mean, <laughs> Susan's here. We're all here. How are you? Dave? You all together? Uh, Hello. No, the the Hello. guy. Well, let me see. Actually, we're all over the place. I'm I'm at home. Ron's at home. And. I'll have the other board members. I'm going to treat you just like we've treated the other people, even though we know you well, Dave, okay? Uh, Dave, so, uh, we, uh, Susan, we forgot to mention to the other people that the News and Citizen as well as the public access TV are on the line, too. Right. Okay, just a reminder. <laughs> okay. So be careful what you say, Dave. <laughs> what you say, the News and Citizen and what? The public access the public TV. Public access TV. 
Oh, oh, they're listening. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, and um, uh, Roly, you guys introduce yourself so it's on the record and he knows you're there. Roland's here, Dave. Roger. Right in, Roger. Okay. Um, Dave, how about, and we'll kind of run yours together here, introducing yourself and why you're, why you're interested in, in filling this position. Um, we'll have you, it seems to ask you your current and past experience, but just sort of the, again, so we, so we have it on the record for everybody. Why are you, uh, why are you willing to do this? Why are you interested in doing this? Well, I thought I'd uh, put my name in to, to help the town because of my experience, I've got 11, 12 years on the board. And, uh, I know a lot of the uh, uh, issues that are going on and stuff, and uh, I think I could be a valuable asset for this to fill the rest of uh, Roger's term. <laughs> you know, I got, I got some ideas what I'd like to see the board do. You know, since I got off the board, it's only been two months, but we've got a whole new world out there. Yeah. And I, th yeah. I think it's time that uh, the board starts looking at what is not wanted or what is needed. You know, and, and everybody in, the, in the, the, the town has got to cut back and I think it's something that, that we should be looking at is it, to, I'm not saying cut services, but cut the fat if there is anything. I, I think another thing we ought to do as a board, I think we ought to sit down and have a, have a, a five-year plan. You know, we're, we're talking about uh, merging the two fire companies. Well, you know, that's not going to happen overnight. And when it's not going to go to North Hyde or go to, to Hyde Park and say, okay, we're going to marry you guys, this is what we're going to do, it's going to take a, a plan to do that, you know, because a, a, a goal without a wish, I mean, a goal without a plan is just a wish. And, and that way we have the two fire chiefs on board with us so they know what we're thinking in this five-year plan and also the town of Eden because uh, we, we were never – as a town, leave those guys out in the cold. But, but right. if, if they if they understand our plan, it's going to be an easier transition if we decide to do so. Uh, well, and it's, it's we've talked, as you know, not with just the fire department, but with with the sheriff's department as well. Is is and again, it it isn't just this region. It's it's all rural parts of the country. But is oh is, absolutely how do, how do we get to regional fire coverage? How do we get to regional policing? You know, individual right. communities can't you just can't you just can't afford it. And, and that, uh, that is right. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, looking at the police department, I'm just shooting this off uh, my hip now. But um, maybe we don't need coverage from nine o'clock in the morning to to six o'clock. I mean, nine o'clock at night to six o'clock in the morning. Maybe that's a way to to uh, to cut it down, we need police protection. That that's a hundred percent sure. But do do we need it to the extent that we're getting it? That's a that's another thing. Yeah. And here, again, here. I'm just shooting, I'm just shooting this off the hip. You know, different things that we can look at. Uh, another thing, and this is probably a subject we talked about many many times. Sue is the the, the heads of these staff heads has got to realize that the, the select board is the governor's body. We, we should be making the end results, not not the not the people. Because there's a lot of times, and uh, I won't mention it right now, but we will sometime. That uh, uh, there's a lot of decisions made that the select board has no clue what's happening until after it's done. Don't you agree with that? Um, no, I don't know that I agree. I don't know that I agree with that, but okay. Um, it, again, we're always open to discussion on those things. Um, 
well, and again, it's sort of areas of concern, and it sounds as though really it's looking at at um, the real concern is how do we start to look to develop longer plans? Because you're right, the things the things the things we look at talking about now, whether you get into regional fire protection, regional police protection, um, you know, are all um, people people want the services. But as, and again, as the requirements for those services become higher and higher, not because we're demanding them, but the state and federal laws require it, it gets more and more expensive. So that it's just, you know, it's just becoming not financially possible or sustainable for, for smaller communities to do things on, a, on their own basis. We've just sort of got to start figuring out how to look, how to look at, on a larger scale. Well, certainly we know with the fire department, uh, different communities that you go through ebbs and flows of how many volunteers you have. And then with people right. working out, so it's volunteers, but if somebody's working in Waterbury, it's it's not a big help if the fire's in Hyde Park. So, That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a, it's a lot of issues. Um. You guys, other uh, other board members, you have some qu any questions I do, today? Uh, I do have one question for Dave. This is Roland, Dave. Yep. You've made some very good points, what you just said a few minutes ago. Now the thing I would like to know is when the term comes up of Rogers, would you throw your hat name in the hat again to run in the term? Because it's going to the things you mentioned is going to take a few more you know, months and stuff. You know that just as well as I do. Would you throw your name in the hat again? I know well, you're not going you know, to be here tomorrow. I know I, you're not I'd have be to here tomorrow. I'd have to see when I get to that point, uh, Roy. Okay. I'm just, I just wanted to ask you a question. It's going to be truthful with you. I wouldn't tell you uh, uh, one way or the other without knowing where we're going to be at that point. But but right. I do think that we've got to sit down. And when Sue first come on at at uh, at, at chair, and, and when she had the uh, uh, extra meetings, remember I'm trying to yeah. say the uh, what am I trying yeah. to say? What's that word? Well, Sun? we went well, to sort of strategy planning meetings so that we did two yeah. meetings a month. Yeah, that was excellent, excellent. You know, uh, uh, another thing that that I like to see the board do. D different than we've done, and, and I'm not pointing fingers because I I was one of those uh, uh, people. So is when when people come in, uh, don't make that decision that night until we got a chance to sit back and think about the different angles and stuff, and and you know let them know by letter within a week or so. But sometimes we get ourselves in a little bit of trouble by making I call it. Fire ready aim. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I think sometimes you know it's uh, sometimes it's hard not to feel the pressure when folks are in the room and looking at you, you know, expectantly for an answer. Sometimes it's, it it is it's hard to say. You know, we're just we're going to take a we're going to take a night to you know we need to we need to think about it and and um and again I think part of that comes for scheduling meetings and figuring out how to. I, it may be at the point that we really need to figure out how to schedule two meetings a month, you know, so that, so that, cause sometimes when you, when you feel you have, you want to make a decision, but if you don't have a meeting for another month, well, that feels like too long to wait for a, you know, for a decision, which is sort of why I'm right. talking to all you folks tonight. Cause if I don't want to wait until, you know, that's just, let's, you know, you want to want to be able to move things on sometime. That's right, and it don't. It does not have to. To me, it does not have to be a meeting where we sit down. We could do this uh, telephone chat once in a while. Or... Well, we've 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 all learned that um, you know that you can. You're right that it's in a couple of folks we talk to that have regular full time jobs are like, gee, you know, and it's okay with their bosses. You know, they could take some time off work as long as you get to, you know, you don't have to bother to drive back and forth kind of thing. So I think. One of the one of the benefits of this is is finding um, uh, this is a very good tool. I don't 
I don't think anything ever replaces being able to sit down in a room with each other and talk. That's a really important part of anything. But uh, to be able to do some some extras this way, I think is uh, um, uh, I think can fit into into public schedules very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. So, so I don't know what else to tell. Them. Yeah, I worked nope, with you folks for many many nope, years. Well, we're years. gonna. We're gonna we're gonna make a decision tonight and get back in back in touch with uh, with folks tomorrow, Dave. You got anybody have any other questions for Dave? No, I don't. It, it, no, it, is Roger all that on? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, Roger, I don't mean this thing, but this is gonna be new technology for you, isn't it? No, he's already looking into it. He's already looking into the next. Uh, the new technology for himself. We've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emails See, are we're all better. <laughs> we're, all, we're all getting pushed, Dave. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank, thank you very much, Dave, and, uh, and uh, appreciate your interest. You really do. We'll, uh, we'll okay. be in touch with you tomorrow. Very good. Thank you, guys. You thank, you, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Yep, bye-bye. Okay. So I'll do um, I'll do the same yeah. with Jeff, and I'll just get off. If you guys don't need a break, I'll just get him on the phone, have him call in. Yep. Who is this one? Yeah. Oh, Jeff. Well, uh, Jeff, Jeff Holmes. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, please. And and Jeff had you know had said before we know he's interested in the select board, but he's got a year coming up where he's gone. Jeff does. Yeah, doesn't he? No. Yeah. That's, that's no. Um, Matt no. Reed. No, that's Matt Reed. Does right. Yes. So that's right. Jeff Holmes. Jeff, Jeff Holmes. Yeah. Oh, because you know what's been working this look. In the listener's office. Well, which one's coming yeah. out, Susan? Yeah. Who's coming on, Susan? Jeff Holmes or uh, Matt Reed? Jeff. Sorry. Hey, Susan, are you there? Yep. So I called Jeff and gave him the number. He hasn't chimed in yet. Uh, so I don't know if he's having trouble on his end, but. Um, I'll give him another couple minutes. Okay. He said he was finishing a cheeseburger, so maybe he figured he could call after the cheeseburger. <laughs> Don't get the man. They can squeeze right through that. Oh, yeah. Really? They were showing something that they can get through. Yeah. 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 No yeah. yeah. They can get through. There's no bones in them. They can. It shows that shock up will get his knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> So I missed him the other day. I had a little air gun. I missed him. And uh, so I took the try and I put duct tape all the way around it. But oh, I got to be around the house because you do not do public that duct tape. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I tell you what, chipmunk. I love, remember we lost to Joe last year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were down to Shirley Vermont. You got, they had a hot dozen running around the place, all over the place. Chickmunk. Yes, in this old tire and everything. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I think they're going to get in the carriage. <laughs> they're, they're, See, they got a saw us. They can't get into that. They left it in on the ground. Yep. I don't know Hello. what's going on, but they're they're ready for you, and I'll turn up my uh, speaker, and you can talk to Susan. There we go. Thank you for <laughs> getting that thing figured out. Here she is. Hey, Jack, okay, how so are you? Okay, we got you, Jeff. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. All right, now he's set. Now he's set. Okay, you there, Jeff? Yep, I'm here. Okay, was it a good cheeseburger? <laughs> <laughs> Ron, don't tell on my secrets, damn it. <laughs> yes, it was very good. Okay, that's what's important. All right. <laughs> um, it's all made out of the freezer can get. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, we'll, 
I'll uh, we'll ask everybody the same questions. Um, you want we'll, Susan, we'll I sort don't of, you. Yeah, wait, I'll, do don't worry. I'll let you introduce yourself. I'll let you. No, don't worry, Rolf. You, you um, oh. want to tell who's on the phone? Yeah. Uh, Jeff, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jeff Holmes. I have been a Hyde Park resident for 20 years, and I am interested in this position because I think a young uh, man such as myself, I stress young, can have some different ideas on how the, the uh, town is growing and evolving and uh, how it spends its money. And, um, yeah, I am interested in helping in any way I can. Right. And let me, Jeff, let the uh, other select board members introduce themselves to you. Sounds great. Colin Wolby, Jeff. Roger Audet. And Brian Shackett. <clears throat> Hello, gentlemen. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, um, I'll just, I'll ask you the, we ask everybody the same questions and, um, uh, and have a little chat, and then, then if uh, other folks have questions for you, and and uh, take it from there. How's that? Um, that sounds great. What what kind of uh, are you on any current boards or organizations uh, locally, regionally um, that might lend some experience to this sort of thing? Just interested in that kind of general background that you have. Yeah, no, I, I am not. Um, I simply work and um, focus on my children. That's about the extent of it. Yeah, well, that's a that's not a bad set of priorities. <laughs> how old How old are your kids? My children are five and thirteen. Five and thirteen. Okay. Um, what are are there particular areas in in town government that you're that you're interested in, or you uh, you feel you uh, need to be changed, want to be developed, reorganized, whatever? Just sort of looking for your general thoughts on that, and what you might have of if you have a particular interest. Um, well, to be honest with you, I, I'm always drawn to highway department, fire department, but, um, I guess if I had to be political, if you will, it would be, um, trying to grow the gram list and getting people to move to our area and, you know, celebrate building, uh, with renewable energy, uh, doing all those things and raising families here in our, our great town of Hyde Park. I think we have a lot to offer and some of the best schooling around. I think some of that needs to be overhauled. But anyways, that's a long story. Um, but yeah, I just think that um, Hyde Park has a lot to offer. And if we could make it more obtainable or more, um, you know, interesting to people or more affordable or, you know, some different programs. I, I don't know. I really, honestly, I'm not a political person, if you will, but I do, I do love my town. Um, that that's great. I think I'd, I'd add. I think one of the, one of the great things about town government, at least in our smaller communities in this state, is they aren't particularly. <clears throat> You know, the boards really are made up of folks that care about their town and and uh, and and want to take care of it and and want to have it grow. And everybody would like to have reasonable taxes. So it's um um it, that's that's personally having spent a lot of time in political positions, it's really nice to be in a position where uh, everybody they may they may have we may have different opinions, but. But it's all really focused on the on the same thing, and folks really work together with not just the not on the select boards, but all the other boards and committees in towns too. Um, I find working in town government to be a uh, a very rewarding way to spend some time. Oh, that was Susan's yeah. soapbox for the evening. I get I get one soapbox in the evening, Jeff. I can't help myself. <laughs> um, if um, it it. We we've had um, a, a number of folks that are interested in the position, which is uh, I we all think is terrific, 
Um, I think I think Hyde Park is really on a on a nice uptick in a whole variety of ways. Um, if if you if you aren't appointed to this position, um, would you be interested in consider other other board committees that we have? Oh, for sure. I, in actuality, um, you know, I had started working on my petition uh, kind of late um, last year, and um, basically had some, uh, you know, some very nice people say some nice things to me. One of them being Howard Minash, and um, I just I I started filling out my my petition, uh, like I said, late and with my building schedule with my job I was just kind of under the gun working on a large project for the uh, Vermont Air Guard in Jericho just ran out of time but yeah I would consider anything anything to help okay that's that's just I mean that's that's really terrific we 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 appreciate that interest um the other folks have questions for for Jeff I'm all set. I don't know if Brian has. I, I'm all set, Jeff. Yeah, I'm all set, too. Okay, thank okay. you, guys. Is there, is there anything else done. you'd like to add or you think we ought to know? No, I think I pretty much said it all. Yeah, no, that, that, that's um, terrific. Again, we really um, we appreciate your, your interest. We're... Um, we're going to make a decision tonight. We'll get back in touch with everybody tomorrow. And again, we uh, we uh, thank you for your time. Well, thanks for calling. Or actually, I should say I called you. But <laughs> oh, yeah. that's right. I appreciate you reaching out. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Have a good evening. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Susan. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Yes, <laughs> I have to be careful sitting here with my phone because every time we say goodbye, I almost disconnect myself. Going, oh no, I can't touch the phone. Okay. Um, let me see. I, I guess with uh, with that, what we can do is go into executive session and um, and uh, and talk about the. Um, let me see. I'm thinking particularly for. Uh, for uh, Andrew, how about let's see? Did we just as Ron have your number? He can give you a we can give you a call back when we come out of executive session. Andrew, are you on the line? Andrew's still Sorry, live. Guys, I had, I had, I had my Go ahead, Andrew. And- um, yeah, I can touch base with Ron tonight or tonight or even tomorrow morning if that works for him. Yeah, I can. E- we can either invite you in for the decision, which is whenever. I can just update you later. Yeah, an update later should be fine. All right, I'll do that for you. Thank you, Andrew. Terrific. Thanks, Thanks Andrew. Yeah, thank you, Susan. Have a good evening. You too. You too. Okay, and then we can let we can let public access go too, right? <laughs> Go. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Michael, are you still on the line? Are you monitoring? Or? Yeah, I'm here. All right, so they're going to get ready to vote. And then do you want to email later with the answer, or do you want to get a call back when they come out? Either works. I can hop back in at the end if there's going to be more discussion, but it sounds like it'll be pretty short. Yeah, I mean, it, if, if, it's, if it's a discussion thing, I'll... I'll get you on the line. If it's just a vote, then I'll just I'll email you and um, the news and citizen. Sounds good. Okay. 